Today on Garden Fork, learn how to do water bath canning. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to can food, specifically water bath canning. Uh, we have a couple episodes about making pickles and making applesauce, and we show you how to do some canning, but this is gonna be how to can food video show from Garden Fork, okay? Easy to do, I can do it, you can do it. Are, right? you, are you preparing for winter? Winter's coming. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey! Someone's taking off with the camera parts. Both. Stop. You're making something with apples? Yeah, we made some applesauce earlier today. It's really good. We already pre-tested. And pre we made all this from what we call tree falls. Uh, they're apples that have fallen off the tree. They're still in pretty good shape, so we pick them up. Uh, we wash them with hot soapy water. And then any kind of nicks or smushy parts, I just carve those out. And then we cut them up and we throw them in the pot. We already have a video about how to make applesauce. There's a link below or at the end of the show. And also one how to make uh, bread and butter pickles as well, because that's a canning method as well. Again, links down here at the end of the show. But we did this, and now we have a neat thing of free food, you know? So I want to show you, using applesauce, how to do water bath canning, okay? Okay. Now you might be thinking, well, what's water bath canning versus other canning? There's also canning where you use a pressure cooker. And pressure cookers are used for low acid foods like meats and fish and things like that. Whereas water bath is for high acid foods like fruits, tomatoes, jams and jellies, pickles, things like that. Does water bath mean that it's like lukewarm temperature? No, it's wicked hot. It's right in there. <laughs> oh. For those who like to bathe in extreme heat. So to start out with, you need a couple of things here. First of all, you need some canning jars. You can recycle the jars and you can recycle the bands. You have to get new lids, okay? So these are the bands. These are the jars. Go out and buy new lids. You can just buy lids, they come in a box. So you can buy all those parts separately? Yep. Or together? You can buy it as a case. Like right here, I feel like I'm like on a game show. Um, you, know, you can buy a case of these. You want jars. And then you can reuse the jars and bands. The lids, you have to buy new ones every time. Super simple. Canning funnel. I resisted buying this because I thought it was useless, but they make life a lot easier. And the jar grabbers. This you. is so you can... Take the jar and put it in hot boiling water. And pretend not to burn yourself. And not burn yourself or drop the jar. So it's very sturdy. Oh, and you need a water bath pot. Uh, you can buy a canning pot, I think it's called, a stock, I don't know. But it has a wire rig that goes in it and everything. Which, If you do it a lot, that's great. It's up to you. This is the same pot that we use for beer, brewing beer and for uh, boiling out the boiling down our maple syrup. So what's the baskety thing that you don't have too? What would it do? It holds all the jars and it drops it in real nice. Oh, so it doesn't, so it's more burn prevention. Yeah, and, you prevention. know, garden fork is use what you got and what we have is uh, this big stainless steel pot that we use for maple syrup, beer brewing, making big things of pasta, you know. I do know. So, step one, clean these jars. You know they're brand new, you gotta clean the jar lids and bands with hot soapy water, rinse them out, let them dry. Or you can run all this stuff through the dishwasher. It does the same job. If we only had a dishwasher. Yeah, I know, big hint, dishwasher companies. If you have a rustic dishwasher. Yeah, I'm gonna try and fit one in here, I'm working on it. Next you take your clean jars and your clean funnel, put them like that. And then you're going to fill it with your fruit. If you're making a jam or jelly, it will have recipes on how to do the canning part and how much headspace you should have in the jar and how long to boil it for. Headspace is how much room is between the fruit and the top of the jar. 
It's usually a quarter inch or a half inch. That's somebody calling us. How much head space do you have? Depends on who you ask. <laughs> I got a new haircut though. So this canning funnel, again, I kind of resisted buying it, but you drop this in and then you want to check your head space. So for this, I like a, about a quarter inch between the fruit and the top of the uh, jar. Why? There's going to be some expansion when you heat this and you don't want your fruit to go over this lip and break the seal. Spillage okay. is bad. Right. If you accidentally, while you're filling it, you get some on the lid like that, you got to wipe that off. The rim has to be pristine because pristine, that's where the seal is going to be. After you fill the jars, take a plastic spatula or a plastic knife and run it along the edge to release the air that could be trapped along the sides of the jar. We take a clean new lid. Again, there's no applesauce debris on there either. And that goes on there. And then we take a band, we put that on, and then we seal it, but not wrenching tight, just snug. I would do it wrenching tight. Yes, we know that. Good? Yeah. This is great because in the middle of winter you can pop up one of these jars and you're reminded of fall and the yard and this free food that you got. If your neighbors have apple trees, go ask them if you can go grab the apples. He really likes free food. Well, it's just amazing how much of it goes to waste, especially in our country, so... You and the deer. Yeah. Alright, we're ready to put these in the uh, stock pot. Again, this rim and this has to be clean because that's where the seal is going to happen. So it looks like it's done, but it is not. Well, now comes the water bath. Right. All right, since we're using our multi-use stock pot, when you put the jars in, you don't want the glass jars having direct contact with the bottom of the pot and the flame. So we're going to put a dishcloth in the bottom of the pot. This won't burn, it's covered with water. This goes in the bottom of the pot. Just push it down. It'll go. And why don't you want the bottom of that to hit the bottom of the stock pot? We don't want the glass jars touching the bottom of the stock pot. Because they'll break? Because they'll come in contact with the high heat of the oh, burner. Oh, and they'll crack. Yep. All right, special tool. It goes like this. And this drops in. So you place it and don't drop it, right? Right. Do they ever float around? No, they are uh, they float around. That's a bad thing. Is there an inch of water above them? There will be when we put all four jars in here. I don't know. So boil this for the time that says on the canning. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna boil these for 10 minutes. That's what I usually do when I make applesauce. Check the recipes that when you're doing canning, it's very important that you boil it for X amount. Also, you have to take into account the elevation that you're at. Um, a couple of the canning jar companies have websites, and we'll link to those uh, down in the show notes, about elevation compensation. The higher up you are, the longer you have to boil. If you're in Colorado. Yeah. These we're going to do for 10 minutes, okay? Because it said so on the side of the apple? No, because I just have done this so many times now. All right, time to go watch Labradors. We're going to process our food. Put the timer on. <laughs> Twenty-three seconds. That's a good enough. Okay. <laughs> I've turned this off with the magic of television. There you go. Is it really hot? Should be. 
I'm not going to try because I'm presuming it is really hot. <laughs> well, I mean, it... no, no, we've done that before. Yeah, learn from me. <laughs> but what's happening is when you heat it up, the air escapes underneath that little rubber band, okay? And then when we bring it out, the air that's remaining in there starts to cool down and contract and it pulls this lid in to the jar tight and seals it. That's why when you undo it, it goes pop. Right, so that's why when you take this off and you go to take this off. If it were sealed. Well, this kind of makes a pop noise. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that means, oh, the seal was good. After these have cooled for at least 12 hours, check the lid to see it's sealed. That one's sealed. That one's good. This one's good. This one pops. That's not a good thing. That means that this jar was not properly sealed. So you can re-can the applesauce that's in here, but this seal is not good for long-term storage. You can eat that right now or re-can it. Good, good, not good. If you ever open these up and find food on the rim here or just some odd looking stuff there. Don't eat don't it. Don't eat it, that's a bad thing. But again, water bath canning, super simple. Big pot, get the grabber things, get the funnel, buy some jars, you remember you can reuse all the jars, and go out and get free food in your yard, your neighbor's yard, and can it. Use your Sharpie. Applesauce makes a great Christmas gift. You go to someone's party, bring a jar of applesauce. Easy peasy. <laughs> and they think, think you're brilliant. Just, I've been fooling the world for a long time here. Maybe they don't think that. I know they don't think I'm brilliant, so. All right, so there's links to our other videos wait, 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 right at the end here. Wait, I have another question. Oh. You forgot to ask the audience. That's me. About what? I have another question. Oh, are there any more questions? Yes, why yes. So, now that you've sealed your applesauce, how long will it last like that? Uh, this will last, these keep for up to a year. And if you didn't can it and just left it in the jar and like didn't put it in the bath water, how long would it last? A week. Oh. In the fridge. Yeah. Oh. So it's worth it. Totally. <laughs> so we have other canning videos and cooking videos. The links are all right here. And if you want to sign up for our email newsletter, there's a link right below as well. If you like what we're doing here, we post new shows every week, hit the subscribe button right here. It's free to subscribe. We put out new shows every week, all sorts of cool stuff. Cooking, DIY, gardening, beekeeping, car repair. We're going to build stuff with pallets soon. Oh boy. More canning. All right, go out and do cool stuff. Come back and tell me about it. Leave your questions and comments below. I try and respond to most things. Okay? Tell me what you think right below here. See you.